Hey guys, what's up? So, I'm sorry that it's been a while since I did the last video, but hey, I'm back, and that's all that matters. So, if you follow me on my Facebook page, I said, you know, my last one, the Kit Kat Classic, would be my last Kit Kat video ever. I'm sorry, that's my, uh, whatever it was, it was either Kit Kat White or Kit Kat Classic. Anyway, I mentioned it would be my last Kit Kat video. I lied. When I went to the store, I found two more giant Kit Kat bars. So that's why I was confused. Why is there a giant Kit Kat and why does it say classic? This is the reason why, because there are two other kinds. And I didn't notice them. They were like right on the other side of the Kit Kat classic. So anyway, you know the drill. I'm going to be doing a test video of these two right here. So the first one here is going to be the Kit Kat Mint. This one here I'm very anxious to try because I love mint chocolate. So it's awesome. And this one here I'm actually pretty excited too. This one's cookies and cream. So like the Kit Kat Classic, same type of wrapping, same type of um, material used. So when we get right in, we're going to do a test. So I'm jumping right to the taste test. So this one here is a Kit Kat Mint. You know the drill, guys. I'm going to open it up and give it a test. I'm actually going to show it to you before I eat it. So like I said, you peel it open this way. And it reveals the chocolate inside. Oh, if... Have you ever tried After Eat Chocolates? This is exactly what it smells like. So flip it over. Oh, that looks so cool. Like on the packaging, it got that green swirl. I'm gonna try to get it in focus for you guys. That looks completely awesome. Now let's see if it tastes awesome. So like the Kit Kat Classic, it is sort of marked in the middle, so you can just snap it in half. Not quite a middle one, but oh. actually really good. I approve. Like I said, you can't go wrong with mint and chocolate. It's simply awesome. Now I'm moving on to the Kit Kat cookies and cream. I'm just wondering if it's like the Hershey's cookies and cream. Ugh. I'm just wondering if it's like the Hershey's cookies and cream bar. smell anything different. Ooh, like on the front it has that cookies and cream look. Okay, now we're doing taste test. Perhaps I should clean, cleanse my palate first because I'm still tasting the mint. Your palate, the Canadian style. Tim Hortons coffee. Okay, let her go. It does taste like that Hershey's cookies and cream. It's really good. Now I'm just going to compare it to two. These are two half bars that I've broken off. Sorry, the lighting is really poor. Now the mint one here, I'm sorry, like my hands or fingers are full of chocolate. That's what happens when you're dealing with chocolate in a warm place. So the wafer looks pretty light as compared to the cookies and cream. Got it like a chocolatey wafer. Really brown, really good. So the cookies and cream one, I'd probably give that one a 9.5 out of 10. I like this one better, but the mint one is really good too. So they're about three something each. So if, if you want to try it, Go ahead and pick it up, especially if you live in Canada. I highly recommend it. So, uh, so yeah, this is about it for my uh, for my Kit Kat video comparison. Hopefully, is my last one, unless uh, Nestle releases something else. So, viewers, just click the like button down below and hit the subscribe button if you're not subscribed already for more videos. So, stay tuned, and I'll keep you posted. Have a good one.